Hey, 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 how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel and today it's going to be a watch me work session. I hope you are excited about these nails as, as, as much as I am because you my friends have requested this on my Instagram when I ran a poll on uh, the options of nail art videos that I was going to post. I gave you three or four options and you pr it's pretty much come down to pastel nails with glitter and anime sparkles or a detailed um, Studio Ghibli type painted design and it, it actually came to pretty much almost a tie. Um, so I thought, you know what, because I'm such a nice person, I am just going to uh, give you what you want. I'll give you everything. I'll give you anime sparkles, I'll give you pastel glitter, I'll give you Studio Ghibli everything. So you better appreciate it. Because filming this video was a drama and a half, my friends. It's not funny, I nearly lost my mind. Uh, filming and editing this video and the drama that came along with it but you know what I'm just gonna get into it later I'm just gonna take you through what I'm doing right now and what I'm doing right now is trying to fit this very pretty rainbow translucent form on my nails to create an extension and if you've never seen how extensions are done well then my friend you are in for a treat with this video because i am going to be working with acrylics and acrylics are something i haven't been doing for a while admittedly because my studio i shared a studio with another lady or i used to share the studio with another lash lady and just out of courtesy to her clients i've stopped using acrylic because of the strong odor so it's been kept in a very dusty corner now I am ready to bust them out once again and I'm so glad I'm able to do that despite the smell permeating through my house and sticking to my walls for two days. I am so excited I'm able to show you how to do acrylics. I actually really really miss doing acrylics. Here I'm trying to straighten my nail form before I lay my acrylic just to make sure that my nails are going to be nice and straight. And I'm laying a sort of semi-wet bead of acrylic on my pre-edge just to extend the tip of my nail to my desired length and this time I'm just gonna make them quite long just because you know I can. So I like to pat my acrylic. I, I'm i not a huge fan of using my acrylic when it's really, really wet. It's not quite right for you to be handling acrylic when it's that wet. It just means that you haven't really quite mastered the, the acrylic powder to monomer ratio. And that just comes with practice. You know, like over time, you just learn how to saturate your brush with the right amount of monomer and these things change changes as well with the size of your brush the type of acrylic system that you're using and just the i guess the general method that you prefer but there is definitely a threshold as to how wet or dry your acrylic should be I've just blended in this soft pastel pink acrylic mix and I've just blended it in, in between my free edge and my nail bed and now I'm going in with a cover powder, a cover pink powder from Young Nails and it's called Blush. If you use Young Nails you might be familiar with this, otherwise it's just a really light cover pink powder that's sort of translucent it's not a heavy cover it's not like an opaque cover powder and now I'm gonna go in with a clear acrylic bead and that's just gonna 
to my nail extra thickness and it helps to encapsulate everything that I've done in the base. All the blended glitter and pigment. You know, using acrylic just is really satisfying and really comforting to me. When I, when I first started in my career, my nail career, and, and I decided I wanted to do nails, I wanted to learn it um, with such passion, and, and that was when I saw acrylic being used. I, I was at a, uh, a nail supply store that was attached to a nail salon, and this was when I was living in Singapore. And it was just I saw I saw a lady I saw one of the nail ladies complete a set of French acrylics and I was just so amazed and so enamored by how it all looked when it came together just even though it's just a basic set of French nails and this was we're talking about 18 years ago way before uh, gels became popular and gel extensions became popular I mean acrylics were pretty much the OG of uh, the extension world Who's passionate about doing nails would know exactly what I'm talking about. Just watching the process and and just thinking about the material you can use to to create these little works of art is just so satisfying for our souls. So I'm just starting to file my nails here and and I just I always have this thing where you know you train yourself to lay down the acrylic to perfection well not perfection but to as as neatly and as uniformly as you can as you can possibly attempt because the reason for that is the more perfect you can get your application the less filing you have to do and just filing is not the most f fun thing to do. It's great when you're trying to perfect a shape and you're trying to, to refine your shape. But when it comes to actually taking bulk off, that's not fun. I mean, yes, sure, you have the nail drill and the nail file for that, the electric nail file for that these days. But if you have true technique and you truly understand how it is to properly lay a set of acrylics then there is very minimal filing involved and if you're in a salon setting this will help you to save money uh, save time save money for your clients and essentially it's just a win-win situation for all because the amount of time it saves by not having to take bulk off the nails and and having a, a sort of near perfect application with little filing required, it's just, you'd appreciate it if you're in a salon setting.
nails you are watching me paint my characters on my nails uh, it's story time I am going to tell you the story of the drama that ensued when I was attempting to film this video so I ran the poll with my followers and they've decided that they wanted a, a pastel anime sparkle look or a a Studio Ghibli look and you know what I thought hey I'm just going to incorporate both of them because it came so close to a tie and I thought you know since I'm already doing one sort of fairly simple set of nails I might as well just incorporate the other since I'm you know filming at the same time so I thought okay yep let, let's let's just do that so I started filming I worked on the nails I did the acrylics and I I pretty much started my day filming at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I finished about 5 p.m. Yes, it takes that long to film uh, when you're trying to do a good job at it. So what happened was I filmed everything and at the end of the night when I was reviewing my videos um, after what four, four and a half hours of, of filming I found out that my video files were all corrupted. Yes, I was in tears. I was telling myself, and there were two sides to this. One part of it was just this disbelief, just this blatant disbelief that this had happened to me. And the other side was that self-critical voice that came in and said, you know, of course this is going to happen to you, Clara. Of course this was going to happen to you. You always screw up. And, you know, it's just that that major self-critic just took over. And I got really upset at myself for being so careless and not checking my videos to see if they were recording properly. And then, you know what? After an hour or two of, of self-pity and self-blame, um, and and quite a lot of pity shown by my husband because he felt really really sorry for me I pretty much told him it's not gonna be a smooth sailing journey every time I turn on my computer to film you know something will always go wrong and I guess it's just how we adjust our attitude and how we respond to things correct so I told myself, even though I was about to hit my head in the wall, I told myself, look, Clara, it's it's a huge learning curve. You're just going to have to suck this up this time. And you know what? The positive part about this is you're probably never, ever going to do this again. The next time you film, you're going to make sure that it's recording properly and and it's um, it's in the file is in the right format and it's not corrupted and you're gonna be able to use all these video clips from hours of hard work from filming so that my friends is a lesson learnt and uh, tears were shed as you can imagine but you know what? The most important thing is, despite that little hiccup, I had fun. I had a lot of fun filming my videos and I actually liked how it turned out the second time around. So you know what? It was a blessing in disguise. I'll, I'll show you a picture of the first set. And the first set didn't include Gigi. And I actually really liked Gigi. So I'm really glad actually that I got to do it a second time and got to include Gigi.
seen that the Ghibli characters are going in with a with an inky white pigment to create sort of like a clouds in the sky kind of look. So this kind of sets the base for when I want to paint the uh, the little anime stars, the little anime sparkles, and that's just like the little cherry on top of my cake. With the anime sparkles, I what I do is I essentially paint across with a very fine, detailed line brush, and then I draw a curve in from all four inner corners of the uh, the cross, just to kind of join it into a uh, an inverted circle, I suppose, for lack of a better description. visuals I I am just I paint across then I paint an inverted curve on all four corners of all four inner corners of the cross and then I just fill it in and refine it a little bit and there you go that's that's the uh, the anime sparkle If you're watching from overseas and you're not in Australia or Melbourne, you might not have heard that uh, Melbourne has gone into an extended lockdown. So because I'm a beauty business, I we are pretty much slated to reopen only after the 23rd of November. That's two and a half, two, two and a half months, almost three months from now. And that's that's only pending numbers, and that depends on whether the numbers drop any further, or or it's the numbers are sustaining. But you know what? I feel for myself, and I feel for everyone in the same boat. It's not easy to own a business and have to sit on your hands and feel so helpless. It's it's a really helpless feeling to have. applying a coat of no wipe top gel and that just seals everything in it seals the deal my friend
glad you stayed with me for this entire video if you've made it this far. It's a pretty long video, but you know what? I couldn't edit the video to be any shorter. It's uh, it's a pre it was a pretty long process having to do the extensions from scratch as well as painting this detailed Kiki Kiki's delivery service design. And I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas or any suggestions. I'm more than happy to take on board. And there you have it. The Kiki's Delivery Service Studio Ghibli theme design. if you've enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already stay safe be well be good and i love y'all till the next video bye